Yes, Dr. Sanjay. Uh, after reading the function and the definition of a poetry as discussed by William Wordsworth mm. in A Preface to Lyrical Ballads, I am confused at one point. Uh, it is like, uh, what does he mean by what is a poet mm -hmm. and what does a poet do? Okay. Uh, interesting question. He does not ask who is a poet. Mm -hmm. He asks what is a poet. Interesting. So, uh, generally with a person, we attach who. Mm. Now, therefore, there is a very interesting uh, few sentences there are in Wordsworth's preface where he says that a poet is a man speaking to men. Okay. So, what is a poet? He's a man speaking to men. Okay. Now, which means poet, although the romantics place a lot of importance on the inherent talent within a person mm -hmm. to come up with poetry, that kind of a talent is missing in general people. Okay. But a poet is a person who certainly does not come from any other planet. He is a man speaking to men. Okay. And then we will find in continuance with this observation, there are a series of comparative, you know, so, so a poet differs from other human beings in degree. He is like any other human being, mm -hmm. but he differs from them in degree. For example, he is endowed with more lively sensibility. Mm -hmm. Everybody has sensibility, okay. but he is endowed with more lively sensibility. Mm -hmm. He has more enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. He has more tenderness. Mm -hmm. Now, these emotions, please pay attention to. Mm -hmm. uh, so, the, the, the romantic emphasis on emotions, on feelings. Mm -hmm. And he also has, therefore, I mean, somehow connected, Wordsworth says, he has a greater knowledge of human nature. Sure. Through these emotions, observation, heightened sensibilities, mm -hmm. he has a more, he has a better mm -hmm. knowledge of human nature. And then he uses a word which is uh, quite platonic. He has a more comprehensive soul. Okay. Interesting words. A more comprehensive soul. First of all, soul is problematic, especially in th these times. And then he says a more comprehensive soul. What is a comprehensive soul and then more comprehensive soul? Anyway, soul is also a word which naturally keeps on cropping up in even in general discussion. My soul is hurt or something. So we take to believe that there is something like a soul within us. Right? Uh, so, a poet has a more comprehensive soul and who rejoices more than other men in the spirit of life. In the, he, he, his participation in the essences of life, in the spirit of life is much more than ordinary human beings are. And then finally, he is uh, habitually impelled to create volitions, passions, situations where they themselves do not exist. Okay. Now that aspect is if we take a leaf from Coleridge, the imaginative mm -hmm. imagination mm -hmm. of the poet. Where things do not exist, even then the poet can create, okay. create something. Mm -hmm. Now this is what Wordsworth has to say about what is a poet. Okay. So the entity called poet is such a human being who is overall in degree a far better human being mm -hmm. than ordinary okay. human being. Mm -hmm. This is a sense that still persists whenever mm -hmm. we say, we introduce say in a gathering, mm -hmm. we say that such and such person is an artist. Yes. The others seem to come into some kind of an awe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Yes. So uh, if we if we recognize this aspect that still happens, mm -hmm. we will find that what Wordsworth is saying yes. is not uh, absolutely uh, something which is wrong. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.